Hi everybody, Bean Meister 22 here. Hey, today we're going to talk about something very, very cool. Check this out. These are Walking Dead brick sets by McFarlane. I know it's McFarlane, but how we say McFarlane? Anyways, very cool sets, and they are amazingly detailed. You can see all the sets we have here, but only two of them are built. I, I've, I've just been really busy. You guys know we've been having that problem with Black Widows, and then I've been traveling a lot, been to Hawaii a bunch of times, and have to go to Dominican, and then down to Cancun. Uh, plus, I've been working a lot of hours. But I really wanted to take the time to get these sets up, at least what I have built, and show you, wow, look how cool these are. If you're a Walking Dead fan, and a Brick fan, or even just a Brick fan, not a Walking Dead fan, and you like zombies, very cool sets, must have sets. And like I said, the quality is amazing. Now here's a list of the sets they have so far. We're just going to hold them up, but here's the list. They have a lower jail cell, which is a prison cell, and it's the lower block. And then there's an upper cell. So you have the, you know, the first floor and then the second floor. And they're modular, so you can buy as many as you want and hook them together. The lower ones go on the bottom, the upper ones go on the top. Very cool. You can make an entire prison. The lower cell sells for $18.84 on Amazon, and the upper cell is selling for... $13.82 on Amazon. Prices may vary, depends where you go, the prices go up and down, but that's what they're currently selling for today on Amazon. Now since it's modular and you can put as many of these together as you want, they kind of did something neat. They come with, each of them comes with one of two minifigs, and I think it's random, but there is clear bubble or clear cellophane on the outside so you can look in there if you were at a store you could look on the shelf and say oh this one has this minifig this one has that minifig if you're ordering it online hey i guess it's a toss-up right so the upper cell will either come with a walking dead character or it will come with a walker so you either get a character or you get a zombie the lower prison cell comes with either a guard zombie a guard walker you know one of the prison guards who turned into a walker or you get just another uh, walker, I think. I'm really not sure, because the one I have has the prison guard walker. So anyways, you get one or two minifigs. And something really cool, I don't have any of those here, but you can buy the minifig sets with a bunch of extra walkers and minifigs, because really you're going to have to have hundreds of walkers. We have the prison catwalk set, which is we have here. It's something we built. Very cool. That sells for $29.54, an amazing price, and it is a both upper tier and lower tier of the prison with a catwalk and the sliding gates and the stairs to get up to the upper tier. Very cool. You have Daryl's Chopper. It's another one I have, have not built it yet, and it's a section of highway, and you got Daryl there on his motorcycle. Looking on the box, it says it also comes with a walker, but I haven't opened it up and looked. Now, that one is a little more on the pricey side for the smaller sets, and by pricey, I mean it's $16.93. Since it's a highway picture or diorama or setup, it's really a standalone. Yes, the walker and Daryl, you can, you can put them in the motorcycle, you can put them anywhere, but since it's a section of highway, it's just one little section of the highway. It's a split second in time. The biggest set that I have so far, which I have not opened yet either, is the prison tower and gates. So you have the big guard tower and you have the prison gate. That is currently selling for $54.49. You can also buy those two things separately. I don't have them separately. You can get a prison gate and a fence for $19.99, and then the guard tower alone sells for $27.97. These are current prices on Amazon. Because if you think about it, if you're going to do the entire prison, you're going to have to get several of those gate sets. And then you need a couple guard towers, right? You could buy them together as a pair, or you could say, hey, I need three gates, so I'll buy three of the gates and fences and one more guard tower. It's up to you how you want to do it. This whole thing is modular and mix and match, which is cool. Another one I have not put together, but I have, is the Woodbury Assault Vehicle. You know that National Guard five-ton truck that they get from the National Guard guys? Well, it's a vehicle, it's cool, but I don't know what it's going to be like. I haven't opened it up. I don't know if the tires are really cool rubber or what it's going to be like inside or how it's going to go together. So far, everything has gone together amazingly. Amazing either way. 
Very cool. And the pieces, there's some uniquely shaped brick pieces in these sets. I'm very impressed. I would put the quality maybe somewhere in the Sluban to Kobe quality. Uh, it, it's just about, it could be Lego quality for that matter. But there's something that's even better than Lego quality, and we'll talk about that later. Another one you'll see here on the table is the governor's room. And yes, I put this together. And the, uh, the amazing attention to detail. These little dioramas, or I don't know what you'd call them, they're model quality. When you look at the planks on the floor, it, it's very cool. And if you remember from the show where he had the fish tanks full of zombie heads, you have fish tanks full of zombie heads, and it lights up so you can see them. Batteries are included. And that comes with two minifigs. You get the governor in the seated position. Seated position. He's sitting in his big easy chair, and you have his zombie daughter, Penny. And, you know, gut buckets and things like that. The governor's room sells for $29.99 right now, and it's kind of really cool. It's another one of those standalones that you'd build and put on the shelf, but very cool. And it comes with batteries. One I don't have, and it's, I don't know, I, I, I'll probably get it, but it's, I don't know. It's the boiler room, and that sells for $16.65, currently on Amazon. Another one I am planning to get, it's another one of the bigger ones, another vehicle, it's Dale's RV, that Winnebago they have. You know, when Dale was still with the show, very cool. And I'm really interested to see how that five-ton truck, how that plays out, how good that is. And then definitely the RV, the Winnebago, I'm really interested to see how that is. Now let's talk about the governor's room. I mentioned before the amazing attention to detail, the wooden planks in the floor, the zombie heads, the lighted up fish tanks, the gut bucket. He kind of sits a little weird in his chair. I read some reviews and somebody said they didn't like how it sat in there. I haven't had a problem with it. I do have a slight problem with how these go together. When you pop the arms in, I, yeah, they go in, but I don't know if they're meant to be played with. Because, you know, the arms aren't really going to be moving around and doing too much. I'm afraid they'll fall out. I might want to glue them. But they are by no means flimsy or as hard or difficult to get together as those Call of Duty minifigs. You know how I feel about those, right? As I said, the governor's room is kind of a standalone diorama, much like uh, Daryl's chopper at the edge of the highway, but it is so cool. And I almost didn't get it, but then I saw how, how cool it looked on, online, the picture and the zombie heads and the fish tank, so then I bought it. Okay, we'll talk about the prison catwalk. You have the stairs on either side. You have the, the sliding gate. Very cool. You have the outer wall, that little section of outer wall with the glass that kind of smoked their glass. And it is very cool. These pieces went together great, and they look super cool. Now you guys know I'm not really big about putting the minifigs together and doing a lot of the fine detail stuff. I'm just, a, you know, charge, get in there, and then just do the rough cut work and, you know, the fine stuff. You know, that's not my forte. But each prison cell... You have your little toilet and your sink or something there. Oh, it's amazing. It comes with rust stains and then the piping and the detail. I cannot say enough how cool it is. The beds, the prison beds, the mattresses have so much detail. And then the blankets and, it, like I said, I cannot tell you how cool this is. It, it, it just, words escape me. No, it's not that. But it's, they are so detailed and they are solid and substantial that you would have to actually hold them in your hands to really appreciate it. But this is display quality. It is that good. So far, this is the most detailed of any brick set I've ever seen. And, you know, we've seen a lot of brick sets, not just Lego sets and Mega Bloks Call of Duty sets, which can be highly detailed. And those Assassin's Creed sets, they have a lot of detail. Nothing holds a candle to this. This is amazing in the detail. And really, I stumbled upon these. I don't even know if I was even looking for... Oh, I know what I was doing. I was searching for uh, the latest season of Walking Dead on DVD on Amazon. And then I typed in Walking Dead and one of these popped up. And I couldn't tell. Man, they're so highly detailed. They looked like they were almost a brick set. But I, I couldn't tell because they are so detailed. And then I'm just scouring the pictures and I'm looking at it. I'm saying, wow. Because on the prison catwalk... You have some chunks where the concrete is broken off, where you see a little bit of rebar and the broken concrete and, and the texture. 
And then there's some little concrete pieces you can either put on there to cover that up, or you can have it fall on the ground below there. But the amazing detail, and then I kept seeing the little studs and nubs like it was a Lego set. And it did say building sets and construction set on it. And I said, man, you know, these are a brick set. And so I ordered them, and wow. And I've had these quite a while now. It's been months. But like I said, I've just been so busy. And then with these Black Widows creeping up at me every time I'm trying to build something, you know, I'm always looking over my shoulder. So the attention to detail is amazing. And it was an accident that I found them. Here's something that I do. I go on Amazon, you know, every couple weeks or so, and I just search for brick tank and brick sets. And I, I put those things into the search engine and I see what comes up. Type in Lego, and even though it's not a Lego set, these things are going to come up. Because if you don't do searches like that, you will have no idea of these amazing new things that are being invented, and you, you wouldn't even know about it. I'm sure there's plenty of other brick people who have made videos on these, so if you do a search, you'll come up with, you know, the big brick channels who have probably done reviews on them. Who have done reviews on them. I have a cat snoring next to me, so if you hear weird noises, it's one of the cats. And if I hadn't have done that search... This thing could have been made, sold out, discontinued, and I would have never known it existed. So that's why I do these periodic searches. Now that's all we have so far, and that's all I've seen so far. And as I mentioned, there's various little zombie packs and character packs, and they are very cool. Now the minifigs aren't your standard minifig. They are highly detailed. They're somewhere kind of a cross between those Mega Bloks Call of Duty minifigs. And then the little minifigs that would come with a model set. It's kind of a weird cross, but they are highly detailed. They are, I, mean, I don't know, they've got to be hand-painted, are they? They are that cool. This is an amazing product line. And, and let's look at them. In order to fully appreciate the detail and the intricacies, big word, right? The intricacies of this design... You really have to look at it closely and then feel it and touch it. And I don't know how much of that is going to be able to be shown here in just a simple video. But I have a plan. Yeah, I always have a plan. Do I ever get to my plan? Yeah, it's hard to tell. I would like to try to build an entire prison. Since it's modular, I can periodically, well, I would say periodically, you know, every couple weeks, I can order a couple more of the modular cells. But I may not do it that way because I might be afraid they're going to sell out. So I might like do a couple hundred dollar order and just get all the ones I need. I can do an entire cell block or even two cell blocks. You can buy the modular upper cells and then the lower cells and then maybe uh, another prison gate. I don't know if I'd need another catwalk, but I guess I could do that too. You get some towers and then the fencing. And voila! An entire prison. And then get some more of the minifig sets and then put it together. I could make an entire Walking Dead prison. But I am super, super impressed with the the attention, the detail, the, the fake rust on the on the toilet, on the sink, you have on the, the the prison doors. It looks like the paint's chipped. This, this is very cool. So cool that yes, you could make Walking Dead. Cats quit it. So cool that you could make maybe Walking Dead brick films. You don't have to use these minifigs. You can use, you know, your Lego minifigs if you want to, but these are very cool. So here's what I plan to do. In addition to that, I need to build the ones that I have here so I can tell you, okay, these ones have been good and then so are these. So far I can tell you how cool and how great and easy to put together the ones that I have are. I have no idea about the ones I haven't built yet. And then we'll have to collect all the minifigs of our favorite Walking Dead characters and our favorite walkers. And yeah, there'll be all that too. Okay, I have not forgotten about the Call of Duty hovercraft. It's still partially built. I have some of the minion sets, including that big mid, that big castle. I think it's a castle. That, that big giant minion set. That's partially built. The Call of Duty Harrier Jet, which I wanted forever, and then I finally got it. That's partially built. And then I got a whole bunch of other jets from some Chinese manufacturers. But I stumbled on one more thing that is very cool. And I don't even know how I stumbled on it. It just popped up in a thing that I might like on Amazon. And they are WWF, sorry, WWE wrestling brick sets. I said, wow, and they're reasonably priced. They weren't that expensive. You get a big wrestling ring in one. So I bought five of those. They're made by another Chinese company. I never heard of them. It's called C3 Construction, I think. So yeah, you have a C, a big C with a little three next to it. 
Very cool. I put one of those together, the big one with the wrestling ring, and it really it went together very good. It's at least slew band quality, Mega Bloks quality. It's very cool. So if you're a wrestling fan, wow. Okay, what I don't like about those, the minifigs are kind of hokey. I don't know. I'll have my lovely assistant. I'll have you know her put them together because I don't want to put them together. But if you wanted to use Lego minifigs with it, very cool. But like I said, I'm just so far behind in everything. So today we looked at some very cool McFarlane Walking Dead sets. We looked at the Catwalk set. Set number 14559-5. Yeah. 368 pieces, two minifigs, you get Herschel and you get one walker. We also looked at the governor's room. I can't tell you the set number because I don't know. Do I have it written here? Yes, set number 14526. 292 pieces, you get two minifigs, you get the governor, and you get zombie penny, and you get zombie heads, and you get fish tanks, and batteries are included. All right, so what do you think? You like Walking Dead? Do you like Lego? Do you like brick sets? Have you ever heard of these sets before? Remember, McFarlane makes collectible, they make figurines and minifigs and all kind of things. So if you know anything about what McFarlane makes, consider their collectability and how cool and the attention to detail they have in their other things and put that into a brick set and that's what you have. Very cool. All right, leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, yes, I have a problem with Black Widow spiders. Number two, I'm sorry it took me so long to make this video. Number three, I have a million more videos, both Black Widow, non-Black Widow, Hawaii, everything. I'm just, ah! All right, leave your comments in the comment section. And as always, Thanks for watching. Spider! Nah, just kidding. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.